what is Valanchunas doing? Is he not seeing his man, Jalen Williams? Like, I don't, wh why is Valanchunas standing there? You're Najee Marshall, you cannot jog back. You've got to sprint back until you're in a defensive stance with your feet set. Look at Najee Marshall jogging right here. Are, are you in a defensive stance with your feet set guarding Shea Gildas Alexander right now? A great player. No. Do this. Look at this Pelicans player leaning towards the screen right here. See him leaning that way? Well, you're going to get beat the other way now. Again, if you're Dyson Daniels, get back. Get in a defensive stance. Tell me if Dyson Daniels is in a defensive stance right now guarding Shea Gilgis Alexander. Is that a defensive stance? No. Just slide your feet guarding Shea Gilgis Alexander. You show your hands. Look at you. Don't you look at how he's, this player is using his hands to guard Shea Gilgis Alexander. Slide your feet because now look. Because you're using your hands, Shea Gilgis Alexander is going to be able to create space, and there's nothing you can do about it now. Can't do this. You can see C.J. McCollum is clearly anticipating a Dario Saric screen that never gets set. Look, you can see him anticipating it right there. See, he's frozen and waiting for a screen that's not set. Here it is again. This is C.J. McCollum now leaning towards this screen. Look at him leaning towards the screen. You're going to get beat the other way every time. You just cannot defend like that. Look at this. You you can't guard with your back to your man and just staring at the ball. Yeah, of course that happens. Trey Murphy's got to sprint back here. You need to get to the three-point line. It doesn't matter where the person is that you're guarding. See, if you had sprinted here, you're here now. So now there's no place to go, and you're just an extra defender. That's wonderful. There's no place to go. But now look. Now this player who's got somebody to guard in the corner has got to step up, and that happens. McCollum is doing it again. He's anticipating a screen that doesn't get set. Look at McCollum here. Look at You're anticipating a screen that never came. So now you just get blown by by Lugans Dort. Nonchalance defensively against Shea Gilgis Alexander doesn't cut it. Sprint, get in a defensive stance. None. Are you, are you able to guard Shea Gilgis Alexander this way? No. Trey Murphy, this distance. This is this is how you get burned here. Look at this distance right here. So you're trying to switch a screen, okay? You should be connected to your man right now. So as soon as Shea Gilders Alexander comes off the screen, you're ready to guard. But look at this. You're underneath Lugans Dort. You are you ready to guard? No. So now look. Now you gotta go uphill to guard Shea Gilders Alexander as he's going downhill. If this player wants to help, then you just need to say this now so that this player cuts Shea Gildas Alexander's dribble off and brings him right here. Because now you can stunt and recover. Look what happens when you you let him go away from here. Now this double team has to come all the way over. So now everyone's rotating. If This is on Valanchunas right here. Stop. This player is coming to double at the rim. We don't need another player coming to the rim. you got to stay wide here. Stay wide because when this pass gets made, boom, you're over here. Right? See, look at Valanchunas going towards the rim. He should be easily out here. Now you're able to recover. You're not able to recover from... <sighs> okay, the Pelicans are in a zone. So this player is responsible for this part of the zone. Not totally sure why he's staring at the ball right now. But this player is responsible for the middle of the zone. So when this player flashes middle, why are you not up with him? Like, look at this. You can't guard now. We got a steal right here, right there. Okay, stop. Look at these Pelicans players here. So if these Pelicans players sprint back, you're you're going to see that you're going to be fine. But look at these Pelicans players. They're hardly moving. So now look. Uh, there's no one here anymore. Stay connected to your man, okay? Look what happens when you're unconnected. You come disengaged from your man. Well, you th are thinking the screen's being set this way, so you're going this way. Well, the screen is being set this way, and you're nowhere to be found. Terrible switch. Uh, I don't. The communication is clearly off. This player, you immediately go underneath the screener. Look what this player does. So be because he's not going towards the screener, look at this. This player can't fully get up and guard. So, yeah, you leave late, but this player's in no position to guard the ball anymore, or, or ever. 
Okay, this is not how you guard a down screen right here. This big, you stay attached to your man. That's number one. And you get your arms out so this player can't curl. But you don't become unattached from your man like this because then he slips it. You trap a ball screen. Like, the, what's the back line doing here? This player's got to move up. This is, the, this is the main concern. This player coming off the ball screen rolling. We're not we're off a trap. You're not worried about this player two passes away. But once they hit the roll here, now everyone's one pass away. And you've given up numbers. Cross screen right here. What is this player doing? You need to get attached to your man and jam this player as he's coming through the cross screen to knock him off his spot so this player has time to get on the other side. You've given this player no chance of getting over this cross screen. Stop doing this. You can't anticipate a screen. If it gets set, it gets set and our ball screen defense executes. But look at this player feeling out a screen that never gets set. So now you're off balance guarding Shea Gilgis Alexander. This is unbelievable. Look at CJ McCollum just staring at the ball. Is he, you know, you have a player that you're guarding yourself. So look what happens. Now this player's got to step up in backside help, and there's no one to guard this Thunder player because C.J. McCollum was staring at the ball. Again, you're not, you're going to get beat guarding one-on-one -on -one when you're not in a defensive stance. This is not a defensive stance. Get your feet set in a wide base showing your hands, which, by the way, you're not doing. So look at this. Like, you're just moving your feet way too much. It's... Okay, well, it's nice to know the Pelicans just did not care about this game tonight. Again, you're not in a defensive stance. You are guarding Shea Gilgis-Alexander. You will get cooked when you're doing that.